Hey everyone, that is Gotta Race here from WJ Muffeld Motorsports. Uh, thanks for joining us today. And I want to share a little bit of my experience creating a very simple C-Hub dash. Believe me, it's not as complicated as it sounds sometimes, uh, but it fits exactly what I needed. I actually found a very easy solution to actually bring my eye overlay overlays right here on this vocal screen. And I can even use the switches to change between these different overlays like track map, uh, standings and relatives all in that in one screen. So you are, uh, you can, and by the way, this works with caps, eye overlay, <clears throat> race labs, any overlay software that you have that has the streaming option for your overlays. So if you can stream that overlay, in essence, what it gives you an address on your computer from where that overlay is being published. So you can use that to build this. So you build your overlays, you configure them here, all the information you want, the size, etc., and grab and copy that URL address. So all you need to do now is go to SingHub, create a new dashboard, very simple one. I just have one created here already, so I'm editing that one. But in essence, what I did was, first of all, I wanted three, three screens. So on the manager screens on the top, you can add, when you click that manager screens, you can add the screen. So I added three screens, the relative, standings, and track map. That's all I wanted. So now that I have the screens, all I need to do, for example, in my relative screens, I bring this web page. So all I did was to add that web page here. And then if you scroll down here on the start address, you paste that address you copied from uh, iOverlay or Race Labs or Caps. You paste that address here and it will show the screen here. So sometimes it may not look good, it looks small or big. You don't even have to close this. You can go to back to your overlay software. Let's say I want to make this bigger. As I adjust it, you can see the size changing. So you can make it fit, uh, you know, your screen better this way. Uh, there are probably other better ways to do this, but this was the simplest way that I found that you can actually do that. Then you go to the standing screen again, do the same adjustments. Uh, let me go to my standings. Okay, this one needs to be a little smaller. There you go. So now I have all the information I need. Save it. And now, you know, you simply select on your devices. So in my devices here, I have that whole core screen and I'm telling it to load that relative dash that I created and maybe this will help you. So thanks for watching and please follow the channel to support me. Also a huge thank you to our sponsors, uh, Newton Insurance Agency from Belpre, Ohio. Great guys have been working with us, supporting the team. Uh, and they, you know, are an amazing insurance agency if you are in the Ohio state. Uh, also thanks to Garza Law Firm from Tennessee another great supporter of our team and if you need any legal advisory in the, in the state of Tennessee please contact those guys they have their contact information all of, of our social media uh, also thank you to Extreme Scene Racing that supports uh, me with uh, these equipment I really appreciate the support you guys provided uh, to me in all my scene racing career and cannot forget about GoPro as well that provide all the cameras, all the things you can see here, these beautiful images. Uh, and, and School Candy uh, with providing uh, some of our audio equipment for the team as well. Thank you very much and have a good day.